Welcome to the UK Preston Pole Championship video and this one is set in Aston Park in Sheffield now I'm really looking forward to this one basically it's a little bit of a different concept to this video because I've been up there for a practice so I thought I'd show you the practice video first and then we'll go on to the main event we'll go into the practice video first now this was a practice match on the Saturday I drew on Bills and I drew peg 18 on Bills which I thought decent area I thought I was going to catch a few fish so I'll let you watch that video now and you can uh, have a look see where I cut
so through the video on that one you boy you've just seen um, I've shortened it up a little bit but I did actually come for six in the match uh, and I had a 50 pound I weighed in um, which I thought was a really good weight um, for butts and you could see them spawning on the far bank and I thought that's not a, that's not too bad at all I thought got my tactics right and the week before that I went and come second in the match which you've probably seen the Jubilee Open match so I thought oh I've got my tactics right I've come second in the match and I've come six in the match I've done all right I fish hard pellet across meet down the middle and then down the edge which I got some really good advice from Steve Stephen Foster who works there at Aston Park and he's one of the regulars what win, wins quite a lot of the matches so um, really confident for the big day um, it was Wednesday and it's just passed it was the UK um, Preston Innovations Pole Championship at Aston Park so let's see you on the morning and, and we'll see what Peggy get drawn Hello mate. Hi mate, Dave Wood. Lovely. Fucking wide there. Your back's gonna be coming back. Seven meters. Butts twenty-three. Air fever. Right, we're at Aston Park and I've drawn peg 23 on bolts, which I am uh, not too disheartened with because 
just at back of there is where I had 60 pound about last week but um, tighter pegging tighter section so uh, I don't know what section I'm in either but you've got to beat five people I think or four people to try and qualify but uh, there's some good anglers on here today um, Tiddy's drawn a good peg I know on peg two on bills so he'll be quite happy with that but <laughs> we're about five minutes from the off I'm gonna do what I did last time I can't really tell you but uh, you'll know the tactics I'll tell you at the end what I did um, but we'll see how it goes just gonna take it steady hopefully catch a few fish there's a lot of fish here on the top and they seem to be um, spawning um, as you can see now over there they're spawning all along this bank so we'll see what happens like I said we're two minutes from the off and uh, we'll see uh, I'm, I'm glad I drew up here instead of on um, stable or, or lanta so uh, like I said I wanted butts or bills so I'm happy let's see if we can uh, catch a few fish so right let's get cracking Is that it, is it? First foul look at.
It's gonna be hard work, this, isn't it? No. That's that's three. Yeah, not got out. So on the morning. Uh, I met up with my good friend uh, Craig Tiswell we were having a bit of a joke and a laugh in the queue and I ended up drawing on Butts which was peg 23 now I thought uh, I wanted to buy them on Butts or Bills it was, it was spread over um, Lanta, Stable uh, Butts, Bills I think it were so those four lakes and there were 77 anglers and uh, what you had to do is win your section and then you get through to the uh, final which is I think at Woodlands View I think the final is um, and you had to win your section so I thought right get my head down here I'll try and win the section so I drew 23 um, which 25 was in I think it was 25 which is in the corner and I thought I'd be pushed hard to try and beat that peg which I thought I've got a better chance uh, than the people left of me um, and then it was just that peg what I had to beat really so planned it again it was a red hot day there were fish spawning on the far bank and I went over across we hard pellets and I hooked one in about two minutes foul hook thought right fair enough went back in again again no foul locker um, and I thought right okay we'll see what happens and um, kept feeding my short line with meat and then now we're gonna go down the edges later on and um, see if I could catch some on, on worm or, or meat down the edge but I'd not decided what we're fishing yet so anyway I uh, went across with short uh, so we hard pellets again across the other side and I just kept foul looking I must have foul looked 20 fish and I didn't have my first fish until half past 12 it was so it took me two hours to get my first fish um, I ended up having two carp across and then again it was just foul look sitter um, and we're all in the same boat everyone were doing the same thing then it the um, the fish the spawning stopped basically it just it cooled and off a little bit halfway through the batch and the uh, spawning stopped on the far bank and I thought right okay we're gonna catch some fish here and unfortunately it just never worked for me the guy next to me to my right he was catching and he seemed to foul look a few fish but he seemed to get him in and I just couldn't get him in so all in all, um, that day I ended up foul looking at least 20, 20 carp um, and it was just so frustrating that day. I didn't catch anything down the middle on meat and in my practice matches I caught a few fish in the middle on meat, like six, six or seven carp down the middle on meat but I couldn't catch a thing, nothing down the edge. Um, so all the fish were across and I just kept foul looking them, couldn't do anything else. Every time that you got a bite or you put some feed in and I was tapping pellets, I saw the guy next door fishing ground bait and I thought, right, I'll mix a little bit of ground bait or put a bit of slop in and maybe they'll come into the slop. So I did that and I caught one straight away. I thought, all right, this is it. So I did it again, didn't get a bite. And then I kept doing that, no bites. And I thought, right, it's just, just not, just, they're just not in that area. Um, and you could see the guy to the right of me, he um, he caught quite well in spells. I think Joker has come round with the camera and he was filming on the top of the thing and he said, David Woody hadn't caught a thing, the guy next door has had three fish and I just couldn't catch him. So um, obviously they just weren't in our pegs. So the guy next to me, um, Sam and then Kev, they I think they had about... To 11 12 pounds something like that i had 12 pound and then the guy on the mpeg had 40 pound so he'd probably put me to bed couldn't really do anything about it to be honest so it were a very disappointing end to it um after i'd practiced and thought i'd got a bit of a tactic sorted but um well done to craig tiswell who uh, ended up winning the match with 77 pound and he did really well on peg two on bills i think bills are a little bit better than butts um most of the weights come off bills so that's where you wanted to be really butts didn't fish that well um but the results and i'll put these on the screen so you can have a look so craig tiswell won the match with 78 pound 12 so well done mate you've smashed it up there um second was dean uh, Everett 
with uh, £73, then Dean Lumley with 66 uh, fourth Brad Parks with 65 and fifth was Corby Hullgill with uh, £64. All the results will be on the Match Fishing magazine, um, I don't know what it is, magazine page or website or Facebook page, something like that, but if you want to have a look on there you can do. And I was a bit disappointed with the day, but that's how things go, isn't it? I put a lot of practice in and then on the day it just didn't happen, so that's fishing for you. But on to the next one we go. So. We've got the UK champs coming up, so looking forward to that one at the Glebe. So thanks for watching the video guys, a little bit different concept than normal. I just thought I'd put the two videos together and just show you what two different days can bring. £50 and then £12, ridiculous isn't it really, but that's fishing for you. And when fish are spawning, they don't care, do they? They're not going to get their heads down and feed, so... Uh, that's it, thanks for watching the video, hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, massive thank you to all the members that have joined, so hit the join button if you want to become a member and um, um, all your names are on the screen now massive thank you to all the members that have joined and uh, it does mean a lot to me so if you can hit that subscribe button that's absolutely free more videos on the way uh, massive thank you to everybody out who watched it and uh, we'll see you next time keep on banging guys thanks for tuning on the video if you want to see more videos hit this awesome playlist down here Make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video guys, we'll see you soon, keep on bagging.